FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we got a bit of mixed bag out there. That mix goes like this. You've got the Dow up 184, S&P up 16, NASDAQ 100 is up 100, Russell is off 15, semis down 13, trend is up 256, that's nearly 2% to the downside. Gold is trading out at 1915, that's up about 49 bucks. Silver's up the dollar 40, trading at 2190. Light sweet crude is off 98 cents. She's printed out at 7571. Natural gas up 19 pennies, is about an 8% move. Trade out at 262. And the 30 year treasure up two and two ticks at two points and 18 ticks, trading out at 130.19. Let's go try to figure out what all that means, where price is headed to by taking a look at that nine panel market update chart. We'll see here in the ES Mini, it has completed now the one-to-one -one a to b equals cd to the downside price objective that price objective was 38 36 price this morning gets down to 38 39 you gotta love it now if there's a bullish reversal candle that forms that will confirm a Gartley buy pattern. If it doesn't, and we're below profile levels, well, we're probably back down at the lows of the morning. Spot volatility still well above its 50-day exponential moving average. That is never good for the buyers unless we've actually made a bottom in the S&P, and I don't see a bottom pattern as we speak just yet. If we take a look at the NQ, and here's where it gets a little bit dicey, so to speak, where we've got... Um, Confirmed A to B equals CD down patterns and the other uh, indices, the other equity future contracts out there. What we don't have is we don't have the NQ breaking out its Gartley buy pattern. That Gartley buy pattern, pattern formed two weeks ago. It formed on the trading day of March the 2nd. Today is March the 13th. And that level is still held. Wow. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, they're certainly trying to crush that. They need to crush that. To a certain extent, and you know, to a certain extent, they really need to get rates down. Which is, if you take a look at the 30-year Treasury and take a look at that move higher, which is really a gift for China, right? You figure China's trying to, and it happened in Asia, getting rid of all their treasuries or trying to dump their treasuries, and this is like a gift to them. It's kind of insane. If you take a look at Goldilocks out there, you'll see she see she is trading well above the top of its daily profile, very likely headed to the 1966-1975 level. That's the next area of resistance on the daily time frame. Uh, silver, it's trading above the top of its daily profile. We'll have to take a look at clues as to where it might be headed to during the Trader's Ed show. You have Lights We Crew just consolidating with inside its daily and weekly profiles, really the daily at 74.40 up to 79.24. Natural gas back inside its profile. It's got a consolidation. That's between 247 and 286. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show. But if you have to start your Monday, please have a magical and magnificent one. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care and have a great day.